If you're watching this video, you're probably already familiar with the T7 exam and the HESI A2 entrance exam. These are two exams that are commonly used by nursing schools and allied health programs as a part of their admission process. But the question a lot of people have is what's the difference between these two exams? And that's exactly what we're going to go over today. So that if you have to take one or the other, or you're looking at multiple schools, you might even have to take both. You'll know what those differences are. I'm John from Smart Edition Academy. And before we jump into it, if you guys have questions on these tests, or you want to know specifically all the topics that are covered on the test, so you know what to study, check out the video videos on our channel. There's tons of helpful materials and resources uh, in the links of the descriptions in, of the videos uh, and subscribe to the channel so that you're getting notified when these videos come out. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first difference between the TIS and the HESI is that the TIS is more generalized and the HESI has more specific sections. So for example, the TIS science section includes a bunch of different topics and that's going to include chemistry, biology, A and P, all in one uh, section, uh, one test section, while the HESI exam is broken out into individual test sections. So you'd have one test section for physics, one test section for AMP, biology, chemistry, so they're not all lumped into one uh, section like science, like the TIS is. The other big difference between these two tests are the sections that are required, uh, where with the TIS, you have to take all four sections of the test. And with the HESI, you may not have to take all nine sections of the test. A lot of schools don't require all nine of those HESI sections. A lot of schools don't require physics for the HESI or even chemistry. While on the TIS, you are going to have to take all those sections. The third difference is the framework of how these tests are set up. We talked about the HESI having a lot more sections, but there's also a difference in the number of questions, the number of time allowed for each section. So for the HESI, those nine sections are grammar, reading, uh, vocabulary, general knowledge, math, uh, biology, chemistry, physics, and anatomy and physiology. Now the HESI also has another section called critical thinking, and this isn't really something you can study for. It's really just a personal gauge on conflict resolution, ethical dilemmas, problem solving, and data interpretation. So there's not really a way to study for this, but that's going to be another section on the test. While the TIS only has four sections, and that's reading, English, math, and science, and again, the, the time allotted for these sections and the number of questions on each section is totally different from the, from the HESI. The fourth big difference is your school's requirements. This is going to be different if your school is using the TIS or the HESI test. Uh, you might apply to five different schools for an RN program, and depending on which test they use, you're going to see different requirements in things like the testing window. So some may only let you take a test uh, X number of days before you apply. Others might require that you have taken the test within six months of when you're applying. You can't have taken it a year ago. Uh, there's going to be different score requirements uh, for the TIS and the HESI. Uh, there's going to be different sections required for the HESI, and there's going to be rules around retaking the test. Some may say that you can only take the test two times a year. Uh, some may let you take it once every three months, things like that. So check with your school's program to see what those different requirements are, and it's always going to be a little bit different depending if you're taking the TIS or the HESI. Now, I bet you're wondering which test is more difficult, the T7 or the HESI. And we get this question all the time in our two groups, our HESI Facebook study group and our TIS Facebook study group. Comes up all the time. Those, those groups are linked in the description below. I would love for you guys to join those groups. There's thousands of students. It's a great community. But we hear this question all the time. That's why we're making this video. And the answer is there's no real specific way to measure this, but the general consensus is that the T7 is a little bit harder than the HESI. And one of the reasons is kind of some of the things that we talked about. Uh, there's a large variety of questions on different topics, say in the science section of the TIS, where it's broken out in the HESI. Um, and then the questions can actually be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more complex, a little trickier on the TIS 7 than the HESI, which is generally a little bit more straightforward questions on all these different uh, subjects and different section tests. So with all these differences in mind, this is what you need to do to begin preparing for the TIS or the HESI exam. First, check with your school to see uh, about those kind of time limits and how quickly or how soon you need to take the test before you're applying, uh, the required scores, uh, the, uh, the retaking policies, what sections you need to take if you're taking the HESI test. And number two, no matter which test you're studying for, you should always start with a practice test. This is a great way to gauge and benchmark where you're at and also help identify what your strengths and weaknesses are. 
The Smart Edition Academy free practice tests for both the TIS and the HESI are linked below. You get a scored report, it breaks down each question by the topic it relates to, helps you identify your weaknesses, and that's where you want to start your studying so that you can get the most out of your studying and increase your score the fastest. Now it's always gonna be important to understand the material, not just memorize it. Once you get onto that test, if you're just memorized practice test questions that you did, it's not going to work. You really need to understand the material. Another thing would be to give yourself plenty of time to study. Don't rush this. We typically recommend anywhere from four to six weeks. That's different for every student depending on how much time you have, but you're gonna to wanna to give yourself enough time to freshen up on all this material. The last thing would be to create a study plan. We have videos on how to create a study plan with even templates of how to do that. We'll link that in the description below. So hopefully you have a better understanding of what the differences are between the T7 and the HESI exam. You know where to find good resources in the link of this uh, description of this video on our YouTube channel. You can go to the Smart Edition Academy website. Lots of stuff to help you guys out. And if you have any questions on the differences, leave a comment below. We will answer all those questions. We're here to help you guys out. So until the next video, we'll see you then.